Good morning to you, whoever's watching this. As I'm recording this, it's in the morning. <laughs> uh, today, I am going to be doing a review a little bit earlier than uh, what I wanted, but I'm going to do it now because I wanted to make sure it's one of the first things I talk about uh, for the first part of the year, considering this is a big time. Just Do Something by Kevin DeYoung. Uh, my friend sent this to me as part of a... Uh, birthday gift back in October and what it is is just like trying to find you know God's will you can say it like that because you know as Christians and everything we always try to seek God's will in every uh, aspect of our lives and that's great but what he wrote in this uh, challenges that to a point and it does a very good point on how maybe we're going about trying to find God's will and everything the wrong way and what do I mean by that? Uh, like we always do want to pray like, Lord, what should I do for a job? What should I do for this? What should I do for that? What should I do for this? And it's good to seek wisdom. It is. It's very good to seek wisdom. And he acknowledges that. That's good. But the thing is, is like if you find what he challenges is that if you find something, you know, you, you're passionate about or something you're good at or something you like doing, just do it. That's the point of the book. Just do it. And you let it see if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you're doing something and you see what the Lord's will in what you're doing is in it. So it's just kind of like being proactive in what you're... Um, kind of like taking a step of faith in a lot of ways. It's like, okay, like for me, uh, you like writing. You like doing this and that. Obviously, you have some sort of uh, talent for writing or anything like that. Do your writing and everything and see what uh, the Lord does in it. Okay? It's like a completely... I'll admit, it has changed what I've, how I think about doing the Lord's will. I've been trying to be more proactive. And when I pray and be like, Lord, if it's your will, because that's my common thing. I was just finding like, Lord, what is your will in this? And So I'm just like, okay, Lord, what do I... How do I do this? Or... Help me do this and everything. Because it's, it's like you know his word. You know, well, it requires you to get to know him. So you're getting to know him. You're trying to get to know his word. You're trying to get, you know, but once you know his word, once you know everything it says, it's like, okay, if this isn't contradictory to his word, isn't contradictory to what he say, says, then, okay, then this is, you're at least doing that part of his will, uh, from moral perspective and everything. So it's just like doing what you do and fitting with his word and everything and, it's like, I, yeah, the best thing I could describe is the verse that says, do everything you do, do unto the Lord. I mean, it's not even, because you see what they're all, it, it's kind of hard to explain because I go through all these physical examples in scripture, thinking about what, specifically Paul, I keep thinking of Paul. Paul says, you know, if it's the Lord's will, We'll go here, but you notice all the times he wanted to go to Crete. He wanted to go here. He wanted to go here. He wanted to go here. And if the Lord allowed him, he's like, yeah, sure, go. And he went. But with when the Spirit stepped in and said, don't, he didn't. Even though there were times he wanted to, he said no. But you notice he was trying to take like a proactive approach and trying to see what goes on. I, it's a challenging thing because you're so conditioned to always praying, like, Lord, it's your will, do this. Lord, it's your will, do this. And yeah, but it's the same time being proactive and like, you see something, you, you see the need. It's like, it's not the Lord's need. It's like, okay, you see, you have the ability to, say, feed like a homeless person or something. You have the ability to. You know that's what, you know, you're supposed to do. You have the inclination to do so. But you want to say, Lord, is it your will for me to feed this person? Or as opposed to like, should I minister the gospel to this person? Or should I do this? Or that? You know it's his will to do it. Just do it. I suppose they're always just praying for it. I suppose they're just like, Lord, help me do these things throughout the day and everything else and help me do things according to your word and sticking with your word, sticking with your truth, sticking with what you say. It's a completely... I would, <laughs> it's a completely different um, just state of mind and state of trying to pray and everything. So it's just like, okay, Lord. So for me in my life, I'm like, 
I want to do writing, like with books and movies, show how to get them made and pray they can get made and that way the few things I have can eventually lead into bigger things I want to do and and then use these things to minister the gospel and everything or be a way to do that in whatever shape or form, especially with the books later on that I want to do. And then I like to do escape rooms. Is like, do I have an escape room business? Do I just work at one? So that's, if you want to read it, it's a very short book. It's not that long of a book. You could read it in a day. Um, as far as like review wise, like in a scale one to 10, whatever, when it comes to books like these, whether, you know, because Christian books or whatever, the thing that I would say is like, is it helpful or not helpful? And that's more or less along the line of whether what you decide. And when you read, it's like, yeah, this is helpful for me or no, I know, or that, blah, blah, blah. To me, this was helpful. It's challenging. It is. It's challenging because it's just like, huh. But it is a read, I think. Like, I sent it back. Or have I sent it back yet? I don't. I, yeah, I did. I sent it back home to try to get, I think, uh, like my brother to read or so. But I'd highly recommend reading it. It's a short thing. And I bring, it, I bring this up because it's the first part of the year. And as believers, we always want to say, Okay, Lord, what is your word and what is it the thing you want to do for the next year? Okay, that's good. But it's also like, what are, what, instead of thinking what is his plans for the next year, say, Lord, this is what I'd like to do for the next year. Help me like, accomplish it. See what, how I can fit it into your plan. And it's like, you see, I, <laughs> I'm trying to change the old habits. And it's something that's very hard to change. But that's why I'm trying to like, okay, Lord, I'm trying to do something better than this. That's So I am trying to do better. I am trying to change how I do this. So, but yeah, I would say rec recommend it. It's a little bit of it's a small book, but it's a challenging read. So uh, if you've read it or know someone who's read it, tell me what you think about it. Because it's, it's an interesting thing. So I know this is a short video, but just wanted to bring this up. So, hope you had a happy new year, and pray that you find what, I want to say you find what the Lord's will is in your life. <laughs> that you find what it is you're supposed to be, yeah, what am I supposed to be doing in life? What is it? See, it's hard to, when you read the book, it just kind of flips everything on its head and it's like, what am I supposed to be? It changes everything I'm supposed to be praying about now, it's just... Just go read it. And I just pray you find what the Lord... How do you serve the Lord? Find out how you... If you find something in a way that you know that you like doing in a way to serve the Lord, do it. That's all I can say. All right.